in Scotland I knew and by the time I got back I had this vision in my head and that vision has crystallised now at Callington Mill Distillery. But at that point in, in time it was only a, a vision. And when I came back I went up with my wife and my two young boys to Callington Mill and I wanted my boys to see the windmill. And when I went up there, you know, I saw Oatlands and my jaw dropped. The, the, the location, the mill, the heritage, the lake, the golf course. And I had this vision in my head of this distillery. And when I walked onto the mill, I just saw it all. Exactly what you see there, it, I, I just saw it before me then and there. So that's when I decided I want to build my whiskey dream at Callington Mill. But then it, it necessitated buying properties around there and, and getting a, a leasehold over the mill. There were certain things I had to do, you know, lodging DA, so, so to turn that dream into reality. So in the interim, I wanted to um, invest in Tasmanian whisky. So that's my journey then, and learn. So I was part of Old Kempton Distillery, and I learned a hell of a lot through Bill Lark. And then I think... You're still part of Old Kempton. Of course, and I will always be <laughs> part of Old Kempton Distillery. We've had to control you a little bit, just to subdue you a bit. <laughs> that, that's why I left home. <laughs> I left home to do it on my own. <laughs> That's when I then joined, um, I met David Kernke and Damien Mackey at Sheen Distillery. So, you know, I went and joined them there and we added a bit of, we had fun there and we scaled the business to a certain level. Not what I want to do, but simultaneously run my course to achieve my ultimate goal at, at Callington Mill. And now I'm so proud to say, thanks to Bill, and, and, and more so thanks to uh, Mark as well, we now have what I call the Rolls Royce of all distilleries, you know. And it's a Tasmanian. It's 100% Tasmanian. Tasmanian. So now we can make Tasmanian whiskey with Tasmanian technology. And that distillery, and Bill, you've been around the world, yeah. right? The quality of that distillery, I have never seen anywhere in the no, world. No, no, second. No. Now I expected 80% of what I was going to get from Scotland or Frilly. Not in my wildest dreams did I think they'll do as good and exceed expectation. And they have. And they well and truly have. have yeah. It is a real showcase of excellence. It really is. In the way it's been manufactured, the way it's been put together, the way it will operate, the way it will present to somebody interested in whiskey and the process of making whiskey. As John said, we've been to a lot of distilleries around the world. And a lot of them do it really well. But John's now got to that level where it's going to become an iconic showcase uh, of whiskey in Australia, of whiskey in the world. Mightn't be as big as some distilleries, certainly big on a Tasmanian scale. I'm so glad scale. you said that, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> certainly big on a Tasmanian scale, but, but it will become something that the whole industry, whether you've got a tiny little still or something bigger, it will be something that we're all proud of to be able to say, this is what you can do in Tasmania. So yeah, look, John's achieved a wonderful thing there.